Today is transplant day. The first day in 2020 that we are going to be putting transplants in the garden. Pretty exciting. And I'm going by this schedule that I've created right here for our greens. And this schedule is primarily for our lettuce. And uh, we didn't get started here. We've done that in the previous year, but not this past December. We got started right on time there. And then we missed a week there. And then we are on schedule. And for this one that we did in January, it's time to transplant. It's not exactly the 20th, but those starts are screaming at me to transplant me. So we're going to work on getting them transplanted. The only thing is, uh, when I was prepping their area right under the caterpillar tunnel, I ran out of propane for the flame weeder. So I'm going to have to flame weed before we actually get started. Alrighty, so right back here you can see I still have some unwanted plants, things growing here that I need to get rid of before I can plant. This bed right here was covered, so I should be able to get this ready to go really quick, as well as this bed right here on the end. I do have some things growing right here in the walkway, but that's easy to knock out. But uh, I have some things that have been growing here for quite some time, so I'm definitely going to need to flame weed that. And... Uh, come back a couple days later and then try to plant in these beds but I can at least get two 50 foot rows planted with transplant today that's the goal we'll see what happens okay so I'm gonna roll up the sides a little bit more just because as I'm using the propane I don't want to keep the fumes in there as I'm flame weeding I want the fumes to come out so uh, open up these sides we'll definitely have more airflow coming in there for us uh, but it will make it a little cooler in there, so I uh, definitely need my coat on. Man, it was starting to warm up in there as I was using this Kelvin cultivator in the caterpillar tunnel. But I was able to uh, torch what I wanted to torch, flame what I wanted to flame, uh, because there was a number of plants in here that had actually gone to seed and I wanted to go ahead and torch any of those seeds up to hopefully prevent any of those plants from coming back and uh, just gradually uh, have less and less weed seeds here in our garden. So uh, the goal with using the flame weeder isn't to catch what's growing on fire. It's basically to disrupt the cell wall, just damage it from the heat, and you'll actually see that the green will start turning a darker green, and that's the sign that, hey, you've hit it with enough heat. When you come back in a couple days later, it will be dead. And uh, it's much easier to get them up then, uh, as well as reducing the seeds in here. So what I'm going to do next is go ahead and get my stirrup hoe, the stirrup hose, the, the beds that we are going to be working on today, and then bring the broad fork in, add our fertilizer in, and just kind of blend it up a little bit, rake it. Hopefully I'm trying to do less and less tillage here, so I'm going to try to not have to till these beds as well. Uh, we'll see how loose it is, and we'll go from there, and we'll add some compost too, and then these beds should be ready for our transplants.
Hey, Micah, what you want to do? Um, well, you... You're going to help me? Uh-huh. If you could help me gather up what I just raked and put it right here in the gorilla cart, that'd what be great. What do we do? Whoa, you're eager to help today. Can you get it? Grab the pile. Yep. Put it right in the gorilla cart for me. Look at you. The older I get and the longer that I'm on a homestead, the less I like to see stuff going to waste, even weeds. So what we're gonna do is take this stuff here and we're gonna feed it to some of the ducks and chickens because if the soil's not gonna use it, then something else has to. Isn't that right, Micah? What, Daddy? <laughs> Micah sounds just a little nasally today, but his enthusiasm and energy is still there, like always. Hello, ladies. Hi. Micah and I just raked this up. So could you ladies do us a favor and go ahead and take these to the ducks in the duck tractor? And later on today, we're going to introduce them to the chickens that are down there in that flock area. And we'll just pull them in and then probably tomorrow or the next day, if they look like they're getting to know each other kind of well, we're going to release them and let them be inside the fence. Sound exciting? Yep. Alrighty. Alright, so as you ladies are doing that, I'm going to continue Broadfort. I'm on vacation. <laughs> Just kidding. Taking a rest. Broad Fork got my heart rate up. But I would not be able to do this with all the rain that we've had here recently if it wasn't under this caterpillar tongue. So um, let's see here. If you, Lacey, if you and Selah could prep the fertilizer for me and I'll start prepping the compost and we'll start adding it to these beds. Okay, Selah. Think we can do this fertilizer thing? Mm-hmm. I've never done this one before. Mm -hmm. I guess we just gotta figure it out. We gotta work together and figure it out. Okay, well, let's go. There weren't any instructions on the bag at all, just the label. So I had to go inside and kind of figure out how do we even apply this. And this is Tennessee Brown Rock Phosphorus Based Fertilizer. And I was looking it up and I was reading that you can apply about 300 to 500 pounds per acre. I'm gonna put some in a container, take it out to the garden so we can just add it directly into our beds. Yeah. Okay, Let's see if we can open this.
We're back. Welcome back. You figure it out? Not really, but we're <laughs> just gonna roll with it. That's what we do sometimes around here is we just wing it and roll with it. <laughs> hey, that's part of life. You can't just, can't let things hold you back because you don't know what to do. Just figure it out. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> Hopefully it'll work. Ooh, this one's like a brown, light brown color. Because it's just rock. Interesting. Actually, it is from rock from Tennessee, I think is what they told me. Yes, it's Tennessee brown rock. And it is a slow, it'll be a slow release phosphorus for our soil. It says all organic too. Actually said where they, where they get this from is actually uh, it's being depleted. So uh, we might have to find another source for it if we need more. All right, now that we have the fertilizer added, next I'm gonna put the compost right on top and just kind of rake it and blend it in. And we should be good to go, no teal. And then just add our landscape fabric right over top of that and put our transplants in. All right, so we have one bed ready. So what I think I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and get the landscape fabric. Lacey, if you and ki the kids could go ahead and start putting the transplant in, pl plants in, I'll go ahead and continue to load compost right down here in this next bed. Does that work, does that work for you? Yeah, we can do it. Help While Mike is putting down the landscape fabric with the holes in it for me, I'm gonna go get two trays of lettuce that we planted last month. Okay, Sayla, I need your help in carrying some trays of lettuce over there. Will you help me? Yep. Let's get to it. You're gonna help me too? You're a good helper. Okay, let's go. Salo, we need one of the green and then one of the red. Which one you wanna get? Uh, this one and this one. If you'll carry the red one right here for me, and then I'll carry this green one right here. Okay. R I get R E D. Red. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'll get the G R E E N. Here, can you help me? Safe landing. Thank you. Okay, we're back. Looks like you got this all finished. Got it all pinned down, ready to roll. Okay, gonna... let's get to it then. All right guys, it's transplanting time. We're gonna transplant the lettuce that Lacey and Sailor brought over. It's green lettuce here, as well as Red one? I can't even remember what they're called. Good thing we wrote them on there. This one's a Cherokee lettuce. This one is oak leaf lettuce. Oak leaf lettuce. So there we go. We make our hole and we put it in. Okay, and then we take the soil back around it like this. So here's another one. 
for me? Oh, yeah, hold on. These could be broken apart. We don't need four growing in one hole. Now, okay, wait, wait. Can you make a hole in there? Okay, let mommy make widen it out a little bit. Can you just put that in there? Be careful. We always we always want the green part up and the roots in the ground. And then we take the soil and pull up around it. Yeah. You all are doing fantastic. I think we're going to be even faster this year than we were last year with transplanting and doing the farm work that we did. This turned out to be a race to the finish. Even as the sun was setting, we were still putting these transplants in, but we got the job done. Together, we did it. This was one of my favorite days, my favorite kind of days, when we worked together to achieve a common goal. Not to be negative, but we're not always on the same page with attitudes and enthusiasm about working on a project. But a lot of the times when we work together, it is beautiful what we are able to accomplish. When you work together as a team, you achieve dreams together. Later on, even in the dark, the kids were helping me move the duck tractor into the fence with our other flock to get them transitioned. So make sure you stay tuned for the next video when we release them and see how they do with the flock of chickens here inside this fence. Oh, this is totally unrelated, but Micah really had me laughing when he was talking about what a rattlesnake looks like when it shakes his tail. Micah, what was it? A, ra a rattlesnake shaking it booty. <laughs> how does it shake its booty? Um, by it tails. <laughs> it twists and turns, or does it shake it? <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot. I had to go back outside with Josiah and water those transplants that we just put in the ground. So that way they would take to being transplanted. So, whoo! But you know what? Work's not over. Still got a lot to do in the Caterpillar Tunnel, and tomorrow I plan to get out there and work on that other 50 foot row. But today's done, Whew. thankfully, and we had success. So look forward to another day. Well, that's it for now. We'll see you next time. And as always, be strong, grow on, and live your life without excuses. I'm gonna live my life too. See you next time. <laughs>